Hey guys, SHM here. We're going to continue on with Click Lock Wood, and we've just left summer, so we're going to be heading over to autumn, which is the season that we're in for the longest. Again, just like summer, once you enter, be ready to cancel that Irie text. Make your way up to the right to immediately grab a worm. Come across to the leaf pile. Grab one note, then start going clockwise. And you can either kill the birds, wait for them to come out, whatever is your preference. You're going to come over here to the snare bear. Oop, wrong button. Go into gold feathers. Jump down. Because you're going to be going into Mumbo's hut. He's got four notes inside of his place in fall. He's also got the worm, which we need. So one, two... Three, four, jump down and exit. Again, you'll lose more health here, but that's okay. Because again, you're at full health. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Come up here, grab the worm, down the leaf pile to the opposite leaf pile. Grab this note, wait for the bird. Keep going clockwise until you hit uh, your last note over here, and then you're gonna slide back over, quick dive in order to go into Naughties. So once you're in here, you're grabbing your two notes and you're grabbing the Jiggy. You don't necessarily have to grab the Jiggy here in fall. Uh, it is really laggy when you do that, but uh, it is quote unquote harder to grab it in winter while you're doing the flight into the beaver house. Again, it's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with, um, but I'm just showing you what I do. So swim out to the left after Naughties, and with your last gold feathers, you're gonna grab your uh, other three notes inside the snare bear. Jump over to Go Beast, hit him for the final time. Which will spawn the Jiggy. Go up the leaf pile for a worm. Come down for five notes. Up the leaf pile for the Jinjo. And now you're going to go up this same leaf pile. But this time we'll go counterclockwise to get the rest of the notes. We're also going to be grabbing this worm. And you can jump from here onto this ramp. So on the way up this time, we haven't done it in any of the other seasons. But in fall, I like to go ahead and kill all three of these birds. Um, because we will be coming back down onto this platform for uh, later in the level for fall clip. So I like to just take care of them and make sure that they're dead. Grab that worm outside the hive. Come inside the hive and grab this worm. Make sure you're getting all four notes. You can flat flip on out. Continue climbing the tree. From here, you're going to drop down and grab this worm. Go by this buzz bomb. Make sure that you're safe to just run by him. Sometimes you'll have to kill that buzz bomb if he's like coming right at you. So just be prepared for that. And Mad Nuts tells you he's out of acorns. So you're going to come up to this room and grab the first one. Come out of the window and jump towards the big platform. Come around to the left. You can start the flat flip and then ground pound as soon as you're right underneath the acorn. And then you're just going to flap. And I actually missed it, which sometimes happens if you don't center yourself. Ultimately, what you want to do is get that one with the flat flip. And then you want to come back over here to kind of like where the center is. 
because you're going to fall onto that path that's beneath you. The acorns also have really small hitboxes, so sometimes you'll just miss them because the game hates you. Come down this ramp carefully. Make sure you don't hit that guy on your way back up the ramp. Don't rush. Jump into the window. Grab this worm. Flap flip up here for three notes and the last acorn. And exit through the front door. And then you will uh, stand still and feed nab nuts. And usually if you stand still, if you didn't move, nab nuts will throw the jiggy right on top of you. Which saves you a little bit of time. So just make sure you're not moving while you're feeding them the nuts. Again, these three birds in a row, I like to go ahead and kill them all. Wait for that third one, because that third one will pop out earlier than the first two did. Slam the winter switch. And after the winter switch, you want to carefully make your way back onto the nest. Going around Irie first, because we're going to grab his tenth and final worm behind him. And then I'm going to angle my camera kind of like this towards him. Because if I angle my camera a certain way, uh, if you can see there how it kind of lags as I'm going from side to side, we don't want that laggy camera angle. It'll take way too long to feed Irie. So I'm going to kind of feed him at this angle. I've never gotten lag with this angle before. So with this one, you're usually pretty safe. So feed Irie all 10 of his worms. And then you're going to go back towards the trunk of the tree. And you're going to slide off of this platform down here to where we killed those birds. Um, and that'll get you over the hive, which is over the flower. So I'm going to fall off the hive. Flutter in case you think you're going to fall off. And here we are grabbing the flower jiggy. Now from here, if you want to stay in Talon Trot, you want to jump off the flower behind it to this leaf pile. And then I'm going to come over here for fall clip. Now we want to be kind of at this angle. And what you're doing essentially for fall clip is you're jumping and you're the game is thinking that you're trying to get on top of this ledge. But we're actually not getting on this ledge. So you're going to jump and hold forward. Okay, until you get that kind of animation where Banjo's like kind of falling like that. Okay, so it looks like he's falling, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to push that animation. Okay, once you get it, you're going to push it all the way to the left and he should clip right through the floor. And that will bring you back to the lobby.